One day, during my sophomore year, I confessed my feelings for Alyssa Hashimoto, my childhood friend that I really liked. I've liked you since we were kids. Alyssa? Will you please be my girlfriend? I mean, if it's you, Keigo, I think we should give it a try. Just like that, we changed from childhood friends into lovers. But a week after making it official, we were in a good mood at the park, so I decided to go in for a kiss. I'm sorry, I can't. I don't think we should be in a relationship anymore. What? Why? I said yes because you asked, but I don't actually like you like that. And so she dumped me in just a week. Uh, it was only a week. Keigo, I heard Alyssa-chan dumped you. You got the news fast, Yoshida. Who told you? People are talking about it in the group chat. Everyone in the class already knows about it. Ah, so it's common knowledge now. Pretty embarrassing. Come on, don't be so sad. Cheer up a little. I'll treat you to food next time. Thanks for being nice to me. Like that, I, Keigo Hirata, was feeling super sad for being dumped. I looked over at Alyssa, who was talking to her friends carelessly. Man, she doesn't seem to be worried about me at all. Unfortunately, Alyssa and I were in the same class. That made me feel even worse, but... Huh? Komori-san? Suddenly, I made eye contact with one of Alyssa's friends, Kasumi Komori. Well, I mean it was more like she was staring at me the whole time. And I mean the entire time Alyssa was talking to her other friends. Is she laughing at me? Because of the fact that I got dumped? Ah, uh, Doesn't seem like that, though. For some reason, Komori-san kept on staring at me. Feeling awkward, I looked away. Next time I looked over at Komori-san, she was talking excitedly with Alyssa and her other friends. What was that earlier? Did we just meet eyes by accident? Or was she looking at something else? I thought I might have just been overthinking. Besides, we had no connection. We were in the same class since freshman year, but we've only spoken to each other once or twice through Alyssa. But I discovered that it wasn't just my overthinking soon enough. That day after school, when I was on my way home alone... Hirata-kun, are you going home now? Yeah, um... Komori-san? What's up? Suddenly, Komori-san came over to talk to me. Are you sad about the breakup with Alisa? You look pretty bummed out. Yeah. Did you talk to me because you were worried? Yep. I was just curious about how you were. You know, if you'd like, I can cheer you up by petting you. <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks for worrying about me, Komori-san. She was a very bright Goyle, but she also spoke like she was making fun of me. To be completely honest, I didn't like her very much. As to why she's talking to me now? Not so sure. But on the next day, I felt like someone was watching me, so I looked over my shoulder. There, I made eye contact with Komori-san. So she is looking at me. But we're in class right now. When we made eye contact, Komori-san gave me a small wave so that no one would notice. Wonder what she wants. Hey, what do you think it means if a Goyle makes eye contact with you and waves at you during class? A boy might wrongly think that the girl has feelings for him. But maybe she's just waving at him because they're close friends. Eh, it doesn't seem like that, though. What? What are you talking about? Did you start playing some kind of role-playing game or something? There was no way that she'd have feelings for me when we've never even really talked in the first place. But when I think about the fact that there's a possibility that she likes me, I feel a little weird. I know it's inconsiderate to feel something for a Goyle right after getting dumped, but... Again, after school on that day, Komori-san came over to talk to me. Hirata-kun, are you walking home alone today too? Yeah. Ain't you walking home with Alyssa and the other Goyles? That's what I usually do, but I was actually waiting for you. She might just be making fun of me, so I shouldn't expect something to happen. But for some reason, I could feel my heartbeat getting faster. I wonder if it's because I'm inexperienced with Goyles. Then can you follow me somewhere before you go home? There's a place I want to go to, but it's weird to go there alone. What? Uh, uh, that's fine. Weird place to go alone? I wanted to find out why she'd make eye contact with me during class or talk to me after school. So I followed Komori-san like she asked. Komori-san! Over there! There! You have to reload quickly! Ah! <laughs> Sorry, I lost again! Komori-san and I went to a gaming center near the train station. 
There, we just play games together. Hirata-kun, do you feel better now? Yeah, thanks. You were trying to cheer me up, right? Yep, that was part of the reason. Part of the reason? Suddenly, Komori-san's expression changed from happy to something a little more serious. Would you be bothered if I said that I liked you? What? I asked you to hang out with me, partly because I wanted to cheer you up, but also because I wanted to spend time with you. I was surprised by the sudden confession. Sorry, I know I shouldn't say something like this knowing you just got out of a relationship. Honestly, I think I've had feelings for you since freshman year. But why? We never talked much, right? Ali said Sean would talk about you a lot, and so I knew you were a good person. Really? Alyssa said that? What'd she say? Hmm, like how you treated her to food or bought her expensive presents, things like that? Uh, I don't think that's a good poison. Isn't that something that's just convenient for her? <laughs> Probably, but I thought it was sweet how you did all that for someone you liked. I got dumped by Alyssa either way. Oh, but don't worry. I like equality in my relationships, so you don't have to worry about spoiling me like that. But I... You still have feelings for Alisa-chan, right? Yeah. It's only been a few days since we broke it off. <sighs> hey, Goku-kun. Did Alisa-chan tell you why she dumped you? What? Yeah, she told me she didn't actually like me. Oh. What's wrong? It's nothing. Anyways, Alisa-chan seems like she's not too worried about it. So you should get over it, too. Yeah, I mean, I can't be depressed about this forever. Well, I told you how I feel. Do you think you can think about possibly being in a relationship with me? Oh, yeah. Sorry, can't say for certain right now. I'll make sure to give you a clear answer when I get my feelings sorted. Thank you, Hirata-kun. At night, after the events of that day, I thought about Komori-san. Not so sure about jumping into a relationship right after I got out of one. Wonder if everyone else would care if they were in the same situation. Didn't seem like Komori-san was making fun of me, so I wanted to think that what she said was the truth. I was happy, if I was being honest. Komori-san was just as pretty and popular as Alyssa. Wasn't just her looks, neither. I was happy that she tried to cheer me up after I was dumped. As time went by, my feelings started to lean towards Komori-san. A week after Komori-san's confession, I asked her to come to a secluded area behind the school. Sorry about making you wait for an answer. If you're okay, even if it's just me, I mean, I would like to be your boyfriend, Komori-san. Really? Yay! Just like that, Komori-san and I made it official. I learned more and more about the good parts of Komori-san after we started dating. She was the type of girl that liked to take care of people and was super understanding. She spoke with me while taking my feelings and nervousness into account. Still feel nervous around her but being with him made me feel comfortable. We were on a date at a cafe at school when... My treat. Nope, let's pay separately. But don't boys usually pay during dates? Then, you can pay for me when you become a working adult in the future and get a good paycheck. That's a long way into the future. Wait, does that... Does that mean... You'll be with me in the future too? <laughs> she was loving, kind, smart, and made my heart beat faster with the smallest actions. There were times when I wondered if it was okay that I had a girlfriend that was as wonderful as her. But just like that, a week passed after we got in a relationship. Right when I figured that I might actually like Komori, I mean, Kasumi. Hey, Keigo, I wanted to talk to you about something. Alyssa, what is it? Alyssa stopped me on my way home. Kasumi had something to do in the office, so she wasn't around us at the time. Alyssa and I talked alone. Something we hadn't done in a while. Is it true that you're dating Kasumi? What, you didn't know? It's been like two weeks already. Oh, don't you think it's a little rude that you're dating Kasumi right after we broke it off? What? What are you saying? Break up with Kasumi. Don't you still have feelings for me? That doesn't make any sense! Why do I need to break up with Kasumi? Weren't you the one that dumped me? I'm saying that I'm giving you another chance to date me. That still doesn't make any sense. Sorry, but I don't plan on doing that. When Kazumi finished what she needed to do at the office and came over to us, Alyssa walked away looking irritated. Keigo, 
were you talking to Alisa earlier? What were you guys talking about? Nothing to worry about. You didn't tell Alyssa that we were dating? Yeah, I didn't know how to bring it up. The next day, I heard something unpleasant. Hey, Kago, did you hear? I heard Alyssa Chan started dating a handsome upperclassman right after breaking up with you. What? Do you think she broke up with you so that she could date that guy? How could she call me rude when she did that? I mean, it's better than cheating, I guess. Hey, Yoshida-kun. Sorry, could I borrow Kago? I wanted to eat lunch with him. Go ahead! You're so lucky that you have a girlfriend, Kago. I'm so jealous. You go, man! <laughs> Watching Kasumi blush made me forget about the fact that I've been irritated by Alyssa just oilier. By the way, why didn't you tell Alyssa that we were dating? Um, I didn't really want to mention it, but... As Kazumi said that, her expression changed into an awkward one. Alisa apparently liked this upperclassman from a while back. She kept asking me for advice about it, so I told her that maybe she should break up with you. Aw, uh, that ain't your fault, though. Don't think you need to feel bad about anything. I do, though, because I wanted to date you, too, and things happened the way they did. I hoid after this conversation that Alyssa and Kazumi's friendship fell apart. You were turned off by all of this, right? It's kind of like I stole one of my best friend's boyfriend. Nope. I'm happy. Huh? If you didn't tell Alyssa that, there was a possibility that she would have cheated on me. Plus, I'm just happy that a wonderful Goya like you wanted to be in a relationship. I'm not that great. I feel like I did something terrible. Even if everyone thinks that, I still love you, Kasumi. Thank you, Keiko. I love you too. There were events like that, but Kasumi and I's relationship grew little by little. One day, after school, Alyssa suddenly asked to talk to me. Thanks for coming, Keiko. What's up? I'll get back together with you. What? I heard rumors that you're dating an upperclassman. I broke up with him. I thought about it and think that you're more fun to be around. Plus, you're a good guy. You mean a convenient guy you can use, right? Sorry, I'm sorry. I won't ask you to pay for me anymore. I won't beg for you to give me gifts either. So let's get back together, okay? Of course, my answer was already decided. No can do. Right now I have a girlfriend that's important to me. You should just break it off with Kasumi. Don't plan on breaking up with her. I love her. Um, Kago, didn't you always like me? You know how they say girls like being chased more than they like being the one to chase? Stop it already! I told you, I don't plan on getting back together. Please, just look at me, Kago! You're making no sense. I just can't. If that's all, I'm leaving. Tried to leave Alyssa, saying that Kasumi was waiting for me. Please, Kago! You're the only one for me! What? Hey, get off of me! What are you doing? She suddenly hugged me from behind. What do you mean? It's a hug that means I love you. You never did that to me when we were dating. Right now, I'll do anything for you and let you do anything to me. What? Don't you want to do more than hugging or kissing? I'll let you do whatever you want, Kago. Alyssa, no! I already... What are you doing? Kasumi, this is... Kasumi saw us at the wrong time. Sorry, Kasumi, but I want to get back together with Keigo. What? What do you mean? Kasumi, this isn't what you think it is! So, can you break up with him? Give Keigo back. Kasumi's shoulders were shaken. Her mouth was closed shut, and she was looking down. I didn't want things to get any worse, but when I tried to shake Alyssa off... What do you mean, give him back? Keigo isn't a thing to pass around. Kasumi? W what? Kago and I are childhood friends! I have a closer relationship to him than you do! Let go of me, Alyssa! Kago! Yeah, we're childhood friends. We've known each other for a long time. But our relationship seemed to be shallow. But... but... The only poison I love is Kazumi. So don't bother us anymore! Kago! <laughs> Leaving the crying Alyssa? Kasumi and I left the scene. Ah, <sighs> what's wrong with her all of a sudden? Sorry, Kasumi. Got you worried there, right? <sighs> Kasumi? What's wrong? If it's Alyssa hugging me earlier, there really wasn't anything... 
In that moment, Kasumi suddenly hugged me. What's wrong, Kasumi? I'm just happy that you chose me. I'm so, so happy. Of course I would. You're the only one I can see myself with, Kasumi. Keigo, I love you. Please, stay with me forever. As long as you're willing to let me, please, stay with me forever too. This event deepened our love for each other. As for Alyssa, everyone drifted away from her after finding out what happened, but... Hey, Alisa, did you watch last night's episode? Well, it, yeah, I watched it. I can't believe things happen like that even when it's almost the last episode. I wonder what's gonna happen next week. I, yeah. I honestly think that Kasumi is the kindest Goyle. Despite everything that happened, she still made conversation with Alyssa because she was worried about her. Might be hard to fully repair their... Might be hard to fully repair their friendship, but Alyssa, who had no friends left at the time, should slowly get back to her normal life. A few days later, Alyssa came up to me and apologized. She seemed to really feel bad about what she did. Seems like the cause of her actions was because the upperclassmen dumped her and broke her heart. One day after school... Did you make up with Alisa? Yeah. She apologized and told her that I forgave her. Things might still be a little weird, though. She's a good girl at heart. I'm sure you already know that, though. It seems like that upperclassman really messed around with her feelings. Hope she can find someone good for her after this. You're worried about Alisa, too? Yeah. We've been friends for a long time, after all. Anyways, Keiko. What? Kasumi? Thank you again for choosing me. Yeah, um... Of course I would. Let's stay together forever, okay? A lot of things happened in the past few weeks, but I was able to end up with a loving and wonderful girlfriend. My days after were amazing, and I'm still living the greatest life I could. All I want is to make Cosme as happy as she's making me. Go! It's Ari! She's the youngest member of Team Japan! She's the brains behind the game, and she's made the winning goal! We only have a few seconds left. Keep it together, Team Japan! And here we go! That was the whistle, and time's up! Japan has won the World Cup! It's been four years since their last win! Yay! Japan won! Airi, you're the best! We have Airi Hanamiya here with us. She made one goal and two assists today, and made a great contribution to today's win. You're only 16, but your play was incredible! Thank you! I still have a lot to work on, and it was all teamwork. The last goal was a deflected shot, right? It was the first time we saw that this season. But how were you able to make that shot? I thought the only thing that would work in that scene was the shot, so I took a chance. You must have put a lot of work into that. Yeah, well, I have a friend who's a pro at this shot, and I wanted to be able to do the same. So, yeah, it took a lot of practice. Wow, you're lucky to have such a friend. Does that mean this friend might be part of the team someday? Yeah, well, that friend seems to be hitting a wall now. But I believe that friend will eventually be wearing the same samurai blue uniform as me. I believe that person will be an indispensable member for Japan. Wow, that's very exciting. So here's our next question. Airi, hearing Airi's interview, I, Hiyoma Fudo, felt a sting in my heart. She's been my friend since we were small, and we've always played soccer together. But here she is, becoming a national idol who leads the national team to a big win. And I'm not even a regular player for a strong soccer team. It hasn't been so long, but now there's a big gap between us. She's probably disappointed in me. Ayumiya! Did you finish watching Ari's game? Oh, yeah. Can you get ready then? Right. I will. Ugh, I'm so not up for this. My dad's getting remarried, and I'm supposed to meet his partner today. I lost my mom when I was really small, and I appreciate how he raised me on his own. So I wasn't against all this. But honestly, I don't really think I can get along with a stepmother. Wait a minute! Pause! 
I knew I was meeting my future stepmother, but there's a cute girl my age sitting in front of me. Well, obviously she's not my stepmother, so that would mean only one thing. Dad, you never told me I was getting a stepsister. Really? But does it matter? Of course it matters. We're about the same age. <laughs> yeah, Azusa's cute, but keep your hands off, okay? Why does he not care? How is it normal for two teenagers to live under the same roof? And what will Adi say if she finds out? I imagined Adi's cold response and turned pale. Um... Yeah? You're Hyoma, right? I'm Azusa. It's really nice to meet you. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Hyoma. I heard from my mom that you play soccer. Uh, yeah. I love watching soccer. We'll be going to the same school, so I would love to see you play. Uh, but I'm still a freshman, and I can't even play in games yet. I'm really not that good. Oh, it doesn't matter if you're good or not. I just want to see you do your best. Oh, right. Oh my god! Is she an angel or something? She's super cute! I cannot live under the same roof with her! She kept talking to me through dinner. We met for the first time, but she really doesn't seem to be shy or anything. And she somehow chooses these nice warm words. I almost became attracted to her. So what do you think? Really nice people, right? On our way home, Dad seemed to be really proud of them. Yeah. Enough to make me wonder why those beautiful and nice people chose to be our family. Unlike you, they have a good heart. Anyways, they're moving in tomorrow, so give us a hand, okay? I know. Oh my god! I went back to my room and covered my face with my hands. Oh, Susa's just too cute! I've always had a thing for Ari, but... I spoke to Azusa for a bit today, and I almost fell for her. I'm such an idiot. Huh? My phone. Hello? Oh, Hyoma? Is it a bad time to talk? Heidi! Hey, no, I'm good. Thanks for calling. Yeah, sorry it's so late. There were after parties and stuff going on. Right. Well, congrats! Thanks. Did you see my last shot? It was the shot you taught me. I was watching the whole thing. It's amazing that you actually pulled that off in an actual game. <laughs> well, I saw the defense blocking my way, and I really had no other choice. Really? Yeah, and at the very last minute, I was freaking out. I was like, oh my gosh, this is my last shot and the time is ticking. And I suddenly thought of you. Me? Yeah, and I thought, hmm. Why not try that deflected shot? So, I have you to thank for. Nah, that's not true. I mean, you decided on making that shot. But if you didn't exist, I would have never been able to make that shot. Well, if that's the case, I'm sure you had other ways to get out of that situation. <laughs> you think too well of me. If I didn't have you to support me, I wouldn't have made it this far. Ugh, I'm not so sure about that. Well, so... I'll be waiting for you, okay? Huh? I'll be waiting for you to come to the national team. It's always been my dream to wear this samurai blue uniform with you. Well, I get that. Anyways, you should be tired today. You should get some rest. Good night, Ari. Right. Well, I can talk to you after I get back to Japan, so... Good night. She's waiting for me. I really have to gear up. Hitting a wall is such a lame excuse. Come on. She's playing against the world. I need to get something done. The next morning, I was helping Azusa and her mother to move in. Wow, Yoma, you can carry that? You're strong. Oh, I work out at the soccer club. You have great muscles. You look great. Really? Helping them move in was harder than I expected. But Azusa's smile was so cute. I was happy. She makes nice comments to the smallest things, so it makes me feel really good. But I cannot let Ari see me like this. 
hey, Azusa, which grade are you in? When we were taking a break, I asked her something that has been bugging me for a while. Grade 10, so I'm in the same grade as you. What? Really? I thought you were a sophomore or a senior. Uh-uh, you don't talk about a lady's age. Oh, my bad, my apologies. You don't have to try to be all polite, though. It would be easier for me to talk to you. All right, uh, I'll keep it casual. Yes. I spoke to her casually, and she seemed happy about it. By the way, I asked for her birthday, and her birthday came first, so technically she's my older sister. Is it possible for a stepsister to be in the same class? I think they would normally put us in different classes, but if they were nice, they might let us be in the same class. My mom asked our homeroom teacher to put us in the same class so that I can blend in faster. Oh, I didn't know that. If she comes to our class, she can't avoid meeting Artie. If I talk with Azusa, Artie would get jealous and come in between. And then Azusa will say something back, and then... Oh, as if something like that will happen. I'm overthinking it. So, shall we continue? Yeah, we don't have much left to go. We continued to finish moving and had dinner. Things are going well in this house. I'm Azusa Fudo. I just transferred. Nice to meet you all. After the break, Azusa actually became my classmate. Oh my god, she really came to my class. Yes! A perfect beauty! We already have an Artie in our class, and we get more pretty girls! All right. So, Azusa, your last name starts with F, so you'll be sitting next to Fudo. Oh, so that's why there's an empty seat next to me. I guess it's nice of him not to share that we're siblings now. And she's waving at me. Did she just wave at him? Well, they do have the same last name. Oh, yeah, that must be it. He's already got Adi to himself, so... I'm glad I can sit next to you, Hyoma. What? No! Okay, God officially does not exist! Why does the reality always suck? What's going on with everyone? Uh, just leave him alone. So, can you show me around school? Uh, sure. Yay! I'm counting on you, Hyoma. No! Come on! Your time will come! Hmm. So Azusa already managed to attract some guys, and made some casualties by showing that she was so close to me. I thought there wouldn't be any problems if Irdy wasn't here, but I guess that wasn't the case. Well, Azusa is really cute, so I understand that she'll be popular. After classes, I showed her around the school. She seems like she's enjoying the tour. So, this is it. Is there anything else you wanted to know? I'm good, but I want to see you play soccer. Oh yeah, you've been saying that. Would it be okay? Uh, yeah, if it's for a short time. Our team is pretty famous, so there are girls who come to watch our practice. So, I don't think it would be a problem. What? Look! There's a really cute girl over there! Oh my god! She's legit! She's wearing our school uniform! Does she go to our school? Okay! She's popular. Because there was a really cute girl watching, our practice was extra hard this day. After this, Azusa kept coming to watch our practice. And finally, Artie came home. Hey guys! I'm back! Oh my god! Artie, you were awesome! You were great! Congrats! So Artie's basically a national idol. And as soon as she comes in, She's surrounded by girls. There's students in the hallway who followed Ari to the classroom. I heard that she's in our class, but it's cool to actually see her in person. Yeah, she's usually really easygoing, but in games, she becomes a different person. Right. What's wrong? Are you too close?
yeah, we basically grew up together. Grew up? Yeah, but that doesn't really mean anything. Hey, Yoma! Oh, who's this? Hi, I'm Azusa Fudo. I just transferred. Nice to meet you. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you, too. Fudo? As in... But Hyoma doesn't have a cousin. Yes. Is anything wrong? Uh, you two seem to be close. But how do you know each other? Oh, well, it's kind of hard to explain. What? What kind of relationship is that? Ivy, hey, calm down. I'll explain later. Okay. She's already getting the wrong idea. So, I decided to tell Ivy. Well, I really should have explained it earlier. So, your dad remarried and she became your stepsister? Yeah, nothing weird. Right, we're just living under the same roof. Oh, but you guys eat together and stuff. Right, day and night. And I get to hang out in his room after a bath. After bath? Hey, hey, hey! Azusa! I'm not lying. Yeah, I know, but she'll get the wrong idea. Wrong idea? But she is in your room after taking a bath, right? We were just talking. There's nothing going on or anything. Well, you can't steal him from me. He's been mine since we were little. What? What's wrong with you, Artie? Uh, hmm. Yoma is my stepbrother. You can't take that away from me. Azusa, why are you trying to compete? Take away? But there's nothing to take away. You just met him. Time isn't the issue. He's my stepbrother. I don't approve of your relationship with him as a sister. What on earth is going on? I'm really lost here. I have no words. And after class... Hmm. A team match. And Yoma's playing. Heidi, why are you here? What do you mean? I'm here to see my friend. Why are you here? I like watching Yoma play. Hey, Azusa, is it true that you met him for the first time? What makes you say that? I don't know. You're being overprotective of him. But being a stepsister doesn't feel like the reason. Huh. <sighs> You're right. I've been Yoma's fan since I was in junior high school. We've actually spoken a few times. To be completely honest, I came to like soccer ever since I saw him play. I knew it. But I don't get it. I don't think a guy would forget talking to someone like you. I was pretty tacky before. I tried to become cute and all because I found out I was being in his family. So, he wouldn't remember me. So, you like him? I like him a lot. And I respect him. But it's not like Yoma is a star player now. Yeah, I used to like watching him play with a big grin on his face. But now, he looks like he's having a hard time. Yeah, he's hitting a wall, so... Is that really it, though? Huh? He used to be a player with really wide views and perspectives. He was a creative player, and a genius when it came to passing balls in unexpected but right places. But now, he can't seem to show his strength. Like I said, He's hitting a wall. Well, maybe you could say that. But I think he's just not seeing things right because of the pressure. Why, though? Because he's not a regular player? That can't be the reason. If the reason was pressure, there was no reason to begin with. So he wouldn't be in this situation. He understands that he might not be able to be a regular member at a strong team like this. He's just a freshman. Then... What is the reason? I've been thinking for these couple of days, and now I get it. What? What is it? Aidy, I think you're the one concerning him. What? Me? You've always been with him, and now you're at a completely different league. That's what's pressuring him. Your attitude today, the interview after the World Cup, you're always telling him to be a part of the national team. So... He's like this because of me? I think so. Oh my god, I crushed his talent? But it's not just your fault. Huh? Well, he became all pressured because he was so into you in the first place. Otherwise, he wouldn't mind that you became such a star. 
Azusa. And you are also the reason he worked so hard. So, just don't say anything to pressure him. Just try to do something for him that'll actually help him. You're the one that can support him in terms of soccer, not me. Azusa, thanks. And I will support his personal life. Don't try not to get in the way, okay? What? What are you talking about? I take back my thanks. <laughs> wow, they're becoming friends? I've heard some laughing voices and I see Adi and Azusa having fun. I'm not sure what happened, but I'm glad they're enjoying each other. Since then, Adi would call me up and we would go to the park at night and practice together. And at home, Azusa would try and make me relax. I guess the combination of them worked well for me, and I got myself back together again. Goal! That was Hiodoma Vaduo! And that was his winning deflected shot! He's a senior in high school, and yet he's an integral member of the Olympics team! I became a senior. I was chosen for the Olympics team, and I was wearing the same samurai blue uniform as Adi. I owe who I am today to Adi and Azusa, who supported me through those three years. FYI, they became best friends now. So now, they're asking me to make both of them my girlfriend, instead of choosing one of them! Narumi! You coming to the speed dating party, right? Speed dating? Um, you mean the so-called insolent get-together for gloomy people? What? No one's calling it that. Well, but I get it's mostly gloomy people there, but I'll pass. I'm not good with those types of parties. Wait! Please go! I already gave out the member list and your name and picture got sent out as well! What? So that's why you took my picture out of the blue. I could sue you for photo violation rights. Hey, hey! This time it's high quality! We got girls from Hanazakura Women's College. Hanazakura Women's College? The girls there are smart, elegant, and popular with the boys. There's even a rumor that a lot of high-class girls attend there. How did you manage that setup? You sure you weren't fooled? <laughs> no, dummy! I pulled a couple of strings and finally got it all set up! Finally! A woman's college with a ton of high-class ladies that want to party hard! That's just your bigotry talking. Best not to say that stuff in front of the girls. I won't, I won't. So that means you're coming, right? No, I told you I don't do well with those. All right, it's decided. If you pull out now, you get a real berating with the girls. So I'll see you there. Hey, wait. Seriously, what the heck? Hi, Narumi Shido. I'm just not great with girls. It's all because of that one girl I met in high school. Ever since I graduated and became a member of society, my attitude with girls hasn't changed. That's why I want to run as far away from this speed dating party as I can. On the day of the party, I've heard the rumors, but these girls are definitely high-class beauties. Plus, the black-haired girl sitting in front of me is so beautiful, she could be a model. <sighs> Oof, our eyes met. This is awkward. Hmm... What the heck? Why is she staring at me so hard? Hmm. Wait, am I being glared at or just stared at? Which is it? Hey, Nanachan, you're staring too much. And it's only at Narumi kun. You're giving him a hard time. I wasn't really staring at him. But you definitely were? So, the three of you guys are the same age as us, right? And you already have jobs. That's amazing! Ah, I see. This girl's good at getting men all buttered up. She's cute and her personality seems cute as well. But she's the scariest type of girl. <laughs> Is that so? Oh, first, let's introduce ourselves! So, as my friend said, we started with introductions. I have no clue how a speed dating party works, so I just let my friend run the show. The girl sitting in front of me, Nana-san, is doing her introduction. She jumped a bit hearing my name, but she was as cool and mature as she looks. How should I put it? I'm surprised to see a girl like her here at a speed dating party. Narumi-kun, you don't drink beer, right? Hmm? Oh, uh, yeah. I don't really care for it. I just drink cocktails. Hmm, that's cute. Eh? No way! Hmm... 
Um, is there something wrong? Is there? No, it's just you keep looking over here. Narumi-kun, do you come to these places often? These places? Speed dating parties. Ah, uh, no, it's my first time. Really? I feel like I'm being interrogated. Hey. Nana-chan, those types of questions aren't good for speed dating. Really? I see. It's my first time, so I didn't know. Oh, so it's her first time here, too. Seems like she would get hit on even if she stayed silent. <gasps> uh, what? Uh, Nana-chan, what do you usually do in your free time? Free time? Oh, I read books and study. Wow, just as I thought! Kind of like the graceful and neat type. But I play games a lot, too. Huh? Why is she looking at me? Really? What kind of games do you play? Hmm, I wonder. What kind of games do I play? Ah, it's a secret, huh? But I kind of feel fired up from such a mysterious woman. By the way, Narumi-kun, what do you do in your free time? Huh? You ignoring me? Sorry, I'm talking with Narumi-kun now. Um, I study programming and play games. Hmm, seems like we have a lot in common. Yeah, that's right. If we play the same games, that is. Question, what's programming? Um, it's where you make programs for computers. To put it simply, you make systems for the computers. Amazing! You must be really smart. But there's a wide range in different programming techniques. Hey, hey! We also do programming! We won't lose to Narumi! Oh, really? That's great! Huh? Her reaction was a bit lackluster. No, it's not like that. Uh, well, we are all riled up. Why don't we change seats? Huh? Haven't we just started? Don't you think it's good to mix up the boys and the girls together about now? Ah, uh, if that's what you mean. So everyone followed her suggestion, and my pervy friends started changing seats with mischievous looks on their faces. I go with the flow, but I can't help myself from feeling nervous by sitting next to a girl. However, how did the seating end up like this? I was consumed with nervousness having both girls on either side of me. On the right of me was Nana-san, who had been staring at me from the get-go, and on the left of me was the girl who's good at chatting up men. I sat where I was told to and ended up like this. Hmm? Narumi-kun, you don't have a cocktail yet. You want to order one? Um, yeah. Don't hold back, okay? Uh, thanks. You're blushing. Ugh. Eh, I'm not. You're suspiciously upset. It's not like that! Isn't this a speed dating party? It's okay to be a bit flustered, right? Is it not? Come on, Nana-chan. I'll start to feel sorry for Narumi-kun if you keep staring that hard. Narumi-kun, it's totally okay to take a look at me. See? Doesn't a girl become beautiful when she's seen? I've never heard of that in my life! <laughs> anyway, the drinks sure are taking a while. Well, how cold. <sighs> hey, Nana-san? I got a bit drunk. Huh? We didn't even drink that much. Can you not handle your alcohol? Yeah. Hmm, Nana-chan, I thought you were a strong drinker. You are always the last one still drinking. That was unnecessary. Telling lies is bad, you know. Hmm. <laughs> this atmosphere. Don't just sit in silence. Help me! I look to my friends for help from this awkward situation, but... Go to hell, playboy! For some reason, my friend was mad at me. I ended up leaving the party feeling dead inside. I don't even remember what happened in the latter half of the party. I was just praying for it to hurry up and end. Uh, what is it? Today's party was fun. Here's my number. Your number? Yeah, I'd be happy if you messaged me. Oh, that's right. 
Do you want to have an after party? Just the two of us? Uh, I don't know. That's... Sorry. Narumi-kun already made a promise with me. Nana-san? Huh? But I was with him the whole time and didn't see any promises being made. We did when you left the restaurant. Really? These girls are friends, right? Is it really okay to be fighting like this? Girls sure are scary. Hey, it's the truth, right? You like Nana-chan more than me? That's... What do I do? The worst situation is probably me just going home. But if I choose one or the other, that might hurt the relationship. I can't just stay silent. Guess I'll trust my instincts on this one. Sorry, I'm going to go with Nana-san since we made a promise earlier. I see. How boring. What a flippin' attitude. This girl's definitely scary. Th thanks for going along with it. It's fine. So, where are we going? Can you come to my place? <gasps> nah, nah. Yes? No, I wasn't calling you. Are you serious right now? Well, you can't drink any more alcohol, right? My house is close by, and we could have a nice chat there. Huh? When did I say I couldn't drink anymore? It seems like you were being forced to drink, and your pace slowed down near the end. I see. But go into your house. Won't I be a bother to your parents? I live alone. <gasps> what? That's... <laughs> I wonder... There's no way I could go that far. You dummy! Don't you know the phrase rejecting the advances of a woman is a man's shame? Why are you butting into other people's conversations? Don't you know a lot, Mr. Smarty Pants? <laughs> Narumi, if you're a man, you'd go. Why are you crying? Hurry up and go! Go beyond your fallen comrades! Why are you being so extra? The chance I had to refuse had passed, so I readied myself to go to Nana-san's house. Wow, your place seems expensive. My parents are worrisome. I've been here since high school. Eh? You've been living by yourself since high school? Yep. I listened to Nana-san's story and my heart started beating faster. Girl living by herself? Even though she's just a high schooler. I knew a girl like that. This is my bedroom. Um, shouldn't we just go to the living room? Sit here. I'll bring out something to drink. Uh, being alone in a girl's room smells really good in here. Definitely different from a guy's room. I can't relax. Huh? That plushie. There was a cat plushie next to Nana-san's pillow. I remember seeing that plushie before in high school. What's this? A present for your birthday, Nana. I don't know if you'll like it, but... I like it. It's a present from you, Narumi, so of course I like it. Can I open it? Yeah. Uh, a cat plushie. You said you like cats, so I picked that one. Thank you. I'll take great care of it. I remember how happy she was even now. Even though now it's a bitter memory. Narumi. Oh, you came back. What's wrong? Her aura feels different. I asked her what was wrong without thinking. Then, in an instant, Nana-san rushed towards me. Huh? I was pushed onto the bed for some reason. I've caught you. You can't run away anymore. Huh? A long time no see, Narumi. It seems like you don't remember me, though. Are you by chance Nana... Higure? You finally realized? I haven't seen you since graduation. Why? Why are you here now? You haven't changed a bit since high school. My school was fussy about the blonde hair. But thanks to that, I was able to get you this far. What do you want? You rejected me, remember? So why are you doing all this now? You're wrong. Huh? I was forced to reject you. I had a fiancé, so my parents said no. They wouldn't listen to me, and forced me to reject you. What are you talking about? You were one of those high-class girls? The company you work for is one of my parents' companies. Ah, oh, so that's why you desperately recommended it to me in high school. I yeah, 
sorry, I couldn't say anything. Why didn't you tell me? Even if it was just a little bit. The Hikura family has always been cold towards their daughters. I didn't want you to end up the same way. I was afraid if I told you I was high class, you would leave me. Silly? There's no way I would leave you over something like that. Don't you know just how much I like you? I was so shocked from the rejection that I had a hard time around other women. I ended up thinking no matter how nice a woman was, I could never tell what she was truly thinking. Sorry. But now that I know you're high class, it all makes sense. The teachers never scolded you for having blonde hair and they seem to go easier on you. <laughs> I did that so people wouldn't find out I was high class. But the teachers found out about my documents. Oh, and I heard a rumor going around that your entrance exam scores were bad. Was that true? Yeah, I started acting unladylike and people ended up being afraid of me. Oh, that's putting the cart before the horse. Seriously, but you were so kind to me our first year of high school. I've loved you ever since. Even though we drifted apart, I never forgot about you. And it was tough not seeing you. Ah! What are you going to do about your engagement? If we get found out like this, it'll be bad news for you. It's fine. I won a bet. A bet? When I made a promise not to date you, I also promised to properly see your character and abilities. So, based off my judgment, if you turned out not to be good for me, I would give up and marry my fiancé. So, you're saying you accept me? Yep. You've been getting quite a few job offers, no? Why did you... <laughs> of course, your clients recognize your abilities, but... My parents put you to the test and asked an acquaintance at a local company to give you a job offer. But even though the offers were good, the company you work for now has done a lot for you, so you rejected them all. So, you were seen as a loyal and hard-working person. I see. That was a close one. The offer was so good, I was troubled on if I should take it or not. Well, the company I'm at now is big and has a lot of projects. Plus, I can learn a lot. I was thinking of the future, so that's why I turned it down, but... So, from that, I've been accepted? From a standpoint, yes. But there is still one more test. Huh? When? The speed dating party. Huh? Why there? Would you choose me or another girl? That was the final discernment. I don't really get it. Plus, you didn't reveal who you were. The black-haired Nana Higure is me. So if you chose the me now, I could strongly persuade my parents that there would be no problems. Uh, as expected. So, that really energetic girl that came? Yes. She was a spy for my parents. You were quite attracted to her, weren't you? I wasn't! Really? Really? I'm used to girls who drag men along, so she was a walking red flag! Really? Believe me! Well, I believe you because you chose me, but there's something really important from here on out. Uh, I've just been doing as I pleased up until now, and I turned you down once, and, um... <laughs> hey, why are you laughing? I'm having a serious conversation here! No, it's just that you suddenly knocked me down and said I can't run. Now you suddenly wilted away. Th that's because my wish finally came true, and I couldn't hold back my excitement. But I wouldn't do anything you wouldn't want to. And I'm saying now that I've heard your story, there's no way I would reject you. I get that you rejected me for another reason, and you worked hard to get with me. Why would I ever reject a girl that worked that hard? Rather... Let me be the one to say it. Nana, I like you. I want to go out with you and get married in the future. I'm so happy. I worked so hard for this moment that I've only seen in my dreams. I'm really happy. Please take care of me from here on. You really worked hard up until now. So I'll do my best to bring you happiness from now on. Okay. I'll be looking forward to it, Narumi. So, three years had passed, and we started dating. I thought Nana's parents were strict, but they were very kind and just strongly wished for Nana's happiness. So I think because of that, they listened to her wishes. 
I plan on doing my best for my girlfriend, who worked hard for three years to be with me, and to not let down her parents, who have entrusted Nana in my care. Yes! I finally got a job offer! I, Katsuya Imajo, was in a great mood after my job interview. The company I used to work for went bust because of the recession, and I finally seem to have a new place to work for. It's a big company, but I think I made a good impression. I used up all my savings, so I'm praying that I got the job. Huh? What the? I realized that a car that was supposed to stop at the traffic light wasn't slowing down, and in front of the car was a girl looking at her phone. It seemed like she didn't notice the car heading her way. Watch out! Huh? What? Oh! What was that? Just because I was almost hit by a car, you didn't have to push that hard. Uh, hey, are you alright? Oh my god, he hit his head on this stone. This is my fault. Ambulance, I need to call 911. My consciousness was fading, and the girl's voice was getting smaller. But she seemed to be fine. Good. I'm glad nothing terrible happened. Huh? Where am I? Oh, thank goodness you're awake. I'll go get the doctor. Who are you? You don't remember? Do you have amnesia? Oh, you're the girl with the phone. Oh, you remember. Okay, I'm really sorry for what happened. Nah, don't worry about it. I'm glad you didn't get hurt. Wow, uh, that's a really grown-up thing to say. What? Oh, uh, never mind. I need to apologize about something. Let me explain from here. Doctor? Doctor? I'm sorry, I got your name from your driver's license. Mr. Imajo, you might want to check your face with a mirror. The doctor handed me a mirror and I looked into it. What on earth? Why do I have this huge scar on my forehead? I'm really sorry. It seems like you bumped your head on a rock when you saved me. Wow, really? I'm really, really sorry. You've got nothing to apologize about. It's nothing compared to what might have happened to you if you got hit by that car. Uh, but... Oh, hey, were you okay, though? I pushed really hard. Didn't you get hurt? I'm okay, but are you really okay? Don't worry about it. It's not like I have such a great face anyway. It doesn't matter if I got a scar or two. Uh... Huh? Um... I will return the favor someday. I'll never forget about this. She insisted on getting my contact information, and when I gave her my number and address, she left without telling me anything about herself. I saw her off with a smile, but I had no idea then. This injury made a major impact on my life. One year later, I was homeless. I was badly injured in that accident, so the company took back the job offer that I got. The reason was that because I had a big scar on my face, I looked like I was some kind of dangerous person, and they might lose trust from their clients. I had no idea that a major company would react like that, and I was just so lost, and I couldn't pass any kind of interview I went to after that. The career advisor told me that I basically looked like a mobster, so it can't really be helped. So my savings hit rock bottom, and I couldn't pay my rent anymore. So there was no other way than to become homeless. Ugh, I'm famished. Finally! There you are! What? Who are you? Have you lost your memory again? It's me, Kana Saigo. I'm the one you helped a year ago. Kana Saigo? I don't think I know that name. What? I didn't introduce myself? You helped me when I was about to get hit by a car. Don't you remember? Oh, yeah. Maybe. Oh, no. There's something wrong with him. He's not himself. Just come with me! What? I have no idea what's going on, but she pulled me into an expensive-looking limo. Hey, can you stop by the public bath before we get to the manor? And please take care of his clothes while he's bathing. Hurry! Uh, excuse me? Oh, sorry. I came to return the favor. Return? Yep. Mr. Imajo, come live at my place. What? I've been persuading my parents so that I can do something for you. But it took some time, and when I called you, it was already disconnected. And when I went to the address you gave me, no one was living there. Gosh, I panicked. You're homeless now, right? Then come live with me. Then she took me to a public bath, and after I cleaned myself up, the butler-ish person gave me some new clothes. 
Good, you look nice. Uh, I'm still really lost here. All right, let me introduce myself. I'm Kana Saigo, and I'm the only daughter of the president of the Saigo Corporation. Saigo Corporation? I've heard of it. It's one of the biggest corporations in Japan. <laughs> wow! Hey, I was expecting a little more like, really? Or, no way! You're joking! Oh, sorry. Anyways, we Saigo Corporation decided to take you in. What? Uh, why? Why not? You saved the precious life of the heiress. That's the least we could offer. Precious? Right. The truth is, I was going to offer you a job at our company right away. But back then, I was rebelling against my family, and I was doing whatever I wanted because my family was suffocating me. So it took some time to persuade them. By the time they understood my efforts, you were already MIA. I searched for you and found out that you were homeless, so I decided to invite you to come live with us. Wow, is this for real? It's like some kind of movie. I hit rock bottom in life, and this is what awaits? I'm so lucky. Oh, should I go and get permission from your parents or something? Uh, no need. I'm actually an orphan. What? Yeah, my foster parents were already quite old, so they've already died. So there's nothing to worry about. Mr. Imajo. Wh what? You're already my family. So if there's anything you need, just tell me, okay? Um, thanks. Er. Uh... You say you'll let me live at your place, but does that mean we're family? Oh, um, yeah, like I said, we'll take you in. Is it really okay? Me? Hey, it's okay. My parents approved. Okay, then. I'm grateful for this. Becoming a family with some people I've never met. It's intimidating, but they're the kind of people who would let in a homeless person like me. They must be really nice people, but... Why is she blushing all of a sudden? I thought her family would be nice, but her father looked really scary. I remember her saying that her family was suffocating. I'm not sure if I can get along with them. This is where I get to live? Seriously? Yup, if you need anything, just let me know. Uh, right. Thanks. Oh my gosh, this manor, each room is huge, and this furniture. Hey, are you hungry, Katsuya? Actually, yes, but... Katsuya? Oh, I thought I can call you that by now, can't I? We're family now. It's a bit early, but let's get the chef to make us something. So, celebrities actually do have their own chefs. Wow. Oh, did you prefer something like ramen? In that case, we can go out. What? You eat ramen? You're allowed to eat something like that? Well, maybe not in other families, but I was the rebel in the house, so if I tell the chef in advance, it's fine. You're really carefree, as you seem to be. I don't like to get tied up with customs and traditions. But you can tie me up if you want. What on earth are you saying? And why are you blushing? Oh, never mind. Uh, hey, so what did you want to eat? Uh, ramen then. I'm really not used to this place yet. So even if I eat something good, I probably can't taste it. Okay, let me get the maid to tell the chef. You have butlers and maids here? You look excited. What? Do you have a thing for maids? No! N no way! That's not it. Hmm, are you sure? Uh, positive. I'm telling you, you have to keep your hands off the maids, okay? If something happens between you and a maid, I'm never going to forgive you. Don't worry about it. What is going on with this girl? She seems to be really sweet and bright, but now I sense some dark tension here. Gosh, rich people really have their way of doing things. Anyway, it's best not to get on her nerves. Jeez. Miss Saigo? Kana! Huh? I told you, we're family, so call me Kana. Oh, okay, Kana-chan. <laughs> I thought just Kana would be good, but Kana-chan sounds pretty nice too. Um, are you okay? Uh, yeah. Anyway, I know a good ramen place, so uh, let me take you there. Sure, thanks. What was she muttering earlier? And then we went to eat at a famous ramen place. Kana said she comes to eat these kinds of things every once in a while. And when I got home, Ikon was waiting for me. Apparently I needed to try and catch up with all the information. 
Ugh, I'm so tired. Katsuya, are you okay? Now I know that the rich aren't always partying. Well, you're suddenly cramming what we learned through our whole childhood, so... If you don't like it, I can talk to my father. You're a lifesaver, so you really don't have to remember things like this. Nah, you know what? Because you guys decided to take me in, I want to do something for you guys in return. Katsuya? Well, I'll try not to get in the way of everything and continue studying. Right. Kana-chan? Hey, I have a proposal for you. You mean a business proposal? Can you make me your girlfriend? I, I mean, wife? Your wife? Yeah, that's the best thing that you can do for me. But being this rich, don't you have someone decided for you? Nah, I begged my parents so that I don't have to go through things like that. Oh, wow. She looks like a normal modern girl, but she is an heiress. She knows how to get what she wants. You know, ever since you saved me, I've always liked you, Katsuya. I love how you have a big and warm heart. Can you make me your wife? Er, uh, Kana-chan? I'm sorry, but I don't feel that way about you yet. But I do think you're cute. So how about we get to know each other more, as friends? Of course, I'll think about it, but give me time to start working and get myself back on track. Katsuya, you're truly a good guy. Sorry. It's okay. That's also something I like about you. After that, I studied harder than ever. The person who taught me all the business was really strict, but I'm sure that's exactly what I needed. After I finished studying, Kana-chan always came around to make me relax, so it wasn't that hard for me. Katsuya, can you hold me? You want me to come hold you? Yeah, I like how you do it. Kana-chan is really sweet and cuddly. It makes me happy to be with her, and she makes me forget all the fatigue. <laughs> Katsuya. You're really sweet, you know. I love how you spoil me. Although she acts like this, she's actually an integral member of the company already. When I went to see the company, she was giving out orders like a different person. But when she's with me, she becomes all sweet and nice, and that makes me feel good about myself. After a while, I started working for Kana's father. I've absorbed the knowledge, so now I'm supposed to watch and learn how he manages the company. And since I officially got a job, I was able to marry Kana and enjoy my life even more. The scar on my forehead changed my entire life. In the best way. Starting from today, Akari will be your stepmother, and this is her daughter, Shizuka. One Saturday noon, my dad suddenly introduced me to my new family. He said there was something important, and I, Ken Kaido, couldn't hide my shock. Er, uh, family? What? You knew that I was seeing someone, right? Uh, yeah. And you did mention that she has a girl my age, but... Who would have imagined that it would be Shizuka Kagari? Shizuka Kagari. She's the girl who's said to be the prettiest girl in our school. She's so cute that people call her the idol of our school. Guys are constantly asking her out, but everyone gets turned down. So many guys are after her. <laughs> the number of guys she's dumped is way over 50. That idol is becoming my family? I never thought you would be my stepbrother. Oh, yeah. I guess we haven't spoken since we were freshmen. Huh. Okay, she's hating this. <laughs> to be honest, I'm actually one of the guys who got rejected. I was almost able to put that in the past. Thanks, Dad. Oh, so you guys know each other from school? Yeah, I've seen him around. We're not friends, though. Well, you guys can take it from here. Oh, no thanks. What? No, no. You don't have to be so uptight about this. You two are going to be siblings. Uh, well, that doesn't mean we have to be close. Oh, is that right? Well, if you want food on the table every day, you have to do as I say. Her, well, I guess we should get to know each other more. Hmm, this response. Okay, I shouldn't step on Akari's toes. Huh. Awkward! After that, they told us to get to know each other. And here I am, alone with Kagari-san. I mean, um, Shizuka. What are we supposed to talk about in this situation? Hey, 
Uh, yeah? My last name is going to change, but you don't have to mention anything unnecessary to other people, okay? Oh, right! Never! If I say anything, the guys would get all jealous, and I certainly don't want that. And I said I want to get to know you better because my mom was there, but I'm not really interested in becoming friends with you. So don't act all buddy-buddy with me. Sure. Understood. Good. So that's how my life with Shizuka started off. But we only spoke during meals and at school. We barely looked at each other's faces. Maybe Shizuka was against her mom remarrying. But things started to change. So they actually left for honeymoon without us? Looks like it. Our parents said they wanted to go on a honeymoon and decided to leave us behind. They said they won't be back for a week, so it's just the two of us. Uh, so... what do you want to do for lunch? Oh, I don't cook, so don't count on me. Right, then I'll make us something. You can cook? Well, when I was living with my dad, I was in charge of chores. I didn't want to trouble my dad after work when he was tired, so I've been cooking since the end of elementary school. Oh, really? Then I'll leave it up to you. Oh. I thought you would say that you can't eat something I cooked. What? Oh, never mind. I'm gonna go out and buy a few things, so wait here. After I went grocery shopping and came home, I prepared lunch for both of us. Seriously? I may have overdone it a little. You call this little? What are you trying to become, a chef or something? Uh, no, but... Well, I wanted to do something for Dad because he always works really hard. Oh, so you're a daddy's boy? Hey, it's not like that. Anyways, let's see how it tastes like. Sometimes in comic books, the food looks really good, but when they taste it, it doesn't taste as good as it looks. She reads comic books? Here we go. Huh? How is it? What is this? It's way better than good. Phew. I'm glad you like it. Oh god, look at her. She's so cute! You are a better cook than my mom! Why does it taste so different? Oh, you're overreacting. Akari's gonna cry if she hears this. I'm not! Do you always taste something this good? Err, uh, I suppose it wouldn't be much different. Hmm, we need to reconsider about who will be in charge of cooking in this house. But I want to eat this every day. It'll be fine. If my mom tries your food, she'll understand. It's not fine! I don't want to get caught in the middle! Come on... Don't puff up your cheeks like that! I won't be persuaded! I thought you would be more cool about things. Anyways, I want to ask you a favor. What's up? Er... Uh, can you teach me how to cook? What? Me? Teach cooking? Mm-hmm. Why? You look like you can cook! I've never cooked before. And I want to be able to cook like you. You've never cooked? Ugh, only in classes, but not at home. So Akari was in charge of cooking. Well, Akari has been cooking for us since we started living together. Oh, you can forget about that. Please, teach me how to cook, brother. She called me brother? That Kagari-san said brother? Why would you call me that all of a sudden? Well, your birthday comes first, and I thought you might like that. Right, so you want to learn that much? Yeah. Um, okay, sure. Just tell me why you want to cook so much. Really? Er, uh, I want to be able to make something for my mom. Are you not satisfied with what she cooks? No, it's not like that. I just thought it's hard on my mom to work and do chores and cook and do everything. I wanted to help out. She's probably not lying about how she wants to eat my food, but she's simply worried about Akari's health. Okay then, I get it. Really? Yeah, let's start from the basics. Uh, then, then you want to start now? No thanks. What? Why? I'm full now. If I make something, I want to eat it right away. So let's start from dinner. Oh, well, if you want. Sure. Thanks! I guess we're starting to get along, so if it makes her happy, I'm willing to do it. I didn't know that you were such a good guy. What? Don't pull a 180 like that! It's freaking me out! I'm nice to people, I acknowledge. Uh, 
You should try being nice all the time. I can't do that! Shizuka? If I'm nice to everyone, people will get the wrong idea and come after me! Oh, right. So she's indifferent to people because if she treats people nicely, more guys will go after her. I guess that kind of thing happens when you're this pretty. But then again, if that made her a cold person, that's kind of sad at the same time. I get it, but, you know, you look way better with a smile and a nice attitude. What? Well, I can't suddenly change myself. Sorry, I know. Oh, I'll do the dishes later, so you can just leave them here. No, it's okay, I'll help. Really? Hey, you don't think I can wash a plate or two? Sorry, but can you do it alone? It's faster if we both did it. And she actually did help me with the dishes after this. And that night, I was starting to give her cooking lessons. But... WAIT! STOP RIGHT THERE! Huh? Why is your left hand like that? What are you talking about? You've never cooked before? Do you know that you're supposed to curl your fingers like a cat's paw? Cat? Meow? <gasps> oh my god, what is this cute creature? She's way too cute, but, but she's never heard of cat's paw. What did you do during home economics? Her other people did it for me. I really didn't do anything. What? You said you cooked before. Uh... Oh, so she was bluffing. Well, seeing her like this, I guess her classmates couldn't trust her to do anything. Er, uh, okay. Let's do this together. Um, sure. Try not to be so stiff. Here, lean on me. Er, uh, yeah. I took her hand and taught her from the basics. She was surprisingly humble and was a fast learner. Well, I was a little overwhelmed by this situation. When she tasted the food she made, she seemed really satisfied. This is really good! Yeah, it went well. This is the first time I cooked anything, and it's perfect! First? Wow! She must have been babied all her life! Ahem... Uh What's up? Can we do this again? From tomorrow? Oh, uh, yeah. Sure. Since then, we started cooking together. After about three days, I told her to try doing things alone, but she wouldn't let go of me. It makes me weirdly nervous, so I didn't really want to be in this position. But what can I say? This can't be that bad. And after a while... Ken, do you want to join me for lunch? She started to spend time with me. And the entire school was in shock. Um, don't you think you're a little too close? No, I think it's natural for siblings. Do you want me to feed you, brother? She calls me brother when it's just the family, and calls my name in front of other people. And when it's just the two of us, she comes off really strong. Er, uh, you've really changed since we first met. Hey, do you really need to go down that memory lane? <laughs> it just feels strange. I mean, she's practically a different person. Well... Well, what are you doing, Shizuka? Do I really have to put it into words? What? I really like you. Like? Yeah, I do. I love my brother who's a nice person and a good cook. Uh, I, I'm literally freaking out. Did she say she likes me? For real? Since when, though? It all happened before I knew it. When I realized the only thing I could think about was you. Oh my god, is this why they say the way to a man's heart is through their stomach? But is it really that simple? Tell me how you feel about me. Feel about you? I really like you. I want you to keep spoiling me and being nice to me and teach me all kinds of things. You like me too, right? Then can you be my boyfriend? Do you actually think it's possible for a healthy guy to turn down such a cute offer from the cutest girl in school? I can't. She's super good looking, cute, kind, and basically perfect, and I've always liked her. All right, make me your boyfriend. Yay! Thank you, brother! And this is how we got together. She kept calling me brother, and she seems to like it. When our parents came home, well, <laughs> let's just say we were pretty obvious. But they were happy for us, and told us that we could do whatever we want. Oh, and Shizuka basically forced Akari to stop cooking, because she's busy with her work. 
and we became in charge of cooking for our family together every single day. My name is Kota Izumi. I'm just your super ordinary, run-of-the-mill high school student. And now a guy like me is playing cards with the girls group at a Ryokan on our school trip. You're probably thinking, how did a background character like me get to play cards with girls? But to put it bluntly, I was just dragged along into all this. The other boys in the same room as me invited the girls over, and in order to have the right number of people, I was forced to play. That's game! So the punishment goes to Izumi and Aiba! Okay, you two sit out the next game. Your punishment is written over there. Are you serious? Of all the things to happen, me and Aiba have to... Uyuka Aiba. We're in the same class and we're childhood friends. However, we aren't as close as we used to be. With my shadow of a character and her being a top-level beauty, of course some distance between us would grow. And on top of that, for some reason she's been really pushy with me, making us completely grow apart. Okay, Izumi, pick a card! What? I thought there'd be lighter punishment! What did you get? Hmm, tell how many people you've been with. Whoa, how bold! People I've been with? So that must mean... Let's start with Fuyuka-chan. So, how many people have you been with? Uh, um, let's see. Both hands aren't enough to count, I suppose? Wow, that many? How adult of you! She can't count how many?! Hasn't she skipped a couple steps on the adult ladder?! Alright, next up is Izumi! What answer will we get from you?! It's zero. Nobody. Of course it is! I was sweating over here wondering if you lost your V-card! <sighs> Even though you already knew the answer. Sorry for being a virgin. Oh, you haven't done it yet? Well, that's about what I expected. Wh what the heck? You got a problem? No, none at all. Well, isn't she just full of smiles? What's wrong with being a virgin? Damn it! After that, nothing else special happened, and the game ended. I walked around the Ryokan looking for refreshments, and then... Ha! Hey, long time no see. Yeah. Did you have some business with me? Uh, not really. I just saw you and thought I'd say hello. What a cold reaction. She definitely hates me. So that stuff from before. Was it true? What stuff before? You know, the thing about you can't count on your fingers. Ah, the amount of people I've been with? What, are you interested in the number of boys I've slept with? Eh, I guess you could call it interested. It's not like we're strangers. Mm hmm, I see. So you are interested. Well, it was true. We are high schoolers. Isn't that normal? So it was true. I'm kind of shocked. Before I knew it, it felt like my childhood friend went off to some place far away. Well, it probably seems far-fetched to you since you have no experience. Shoot, there she goes again laughing at me. Since it's the truth, I don't have a comeback. This is frustrating. Being made a fool of is my pet peeve. Sure, I may not have experience, but it's not an alien concept. Huh? What do you mean? Actually, I got a girlfriend on this trip. I may be inexperienced now, but I'll get it sooner or later. No way! You got a girlfriend? Yep. So until that day comes, you can make fun of me all you like. But once I take my step into adulthood, I want you to stop teasing me. See ya. I wouldn't done it. I got too heated and got carried away with a lie. Well, my but won't get involved that far, so I don't have to worry about getting caught. I think. Let's just say I got my revenge. Uh-huh. Despite all the happenings, the school trip ended nicely. And my usual school life started from today. I'm heading out. Huh? Morning. You're slow. M morning Were you waiting on me? Why is Iba here? You made no promises, and on top of that, we've never walked to school together once. I... I wasn't really waiting on you. I was just thinking I wanted to see this girlfriend of yours. Huh? 
You said at the school trip that she went to our school, right? Hurry up and introduce her. Ah, oh, that's right. My girlfriend. Girlfriend. Why? Why is Iba so hooked on my girlfriend? <clears throat> Delusion. This is bad. If I get caught, who knows what she'll say. I have to trick her. Actually, uh, she's extremely shy. Shy? Yep. And with the school trip being such a big event, it caused her a lot of stress. Looks like she'll take a break from school until the third semester. What kind of person are you dating? So, in other words, I can't meet her? Yeah, sorry about that. Actually, I haven't seen her since the trip either. I can't even get a hold of her on the phone. Well, if she's that shy, I guess she'd be that way with you too. But I still haven't been contacted by you yet. Hmm? Um, did you say something? It's nothing. Anyway, we're gonna be late. Let's hurry up and get to school. For the time being, I was able to keep up with the lie with that impossible excuse. I was safe for now, or so I thought. Wait a minute, lucky boy. Eh? Let's walk home together. We have to go in the same direction anyways. With me? And what did you just call me? What? Is walking with me an inconvenience? No, it's not like that, but... I see. Oh, and call me by my name like you used to back in the day. Got it? What? Me too? What in the world is happening? Walking home together? Calling each other by our first names? I definitely have a feeling that I called her by her first name, but why does she want to do this again now after all this time? Just what is Iba um, <clears throat> Fuyuka thinking? I don't know. I have absolutely no clue what my childhood friend is thinking. Afterwards, I walked home together with Fuyuka as she suggested. We ended up stopping by a park on our way. There, I did my best to thoroughly keep up the facade of my girlfriend, delusion, but... So, how far did you and your girlfriend go? How far? Uh, let's see. Oh, we went sightseeing in Kyoto. I'm not talking about places. I mean, like, kissing and stuff. K kissing We haven't even held hands! Hmm, I gotcha, I gotcha. No hand-holding yet, huh? What's wrong with that? We have a pure relationship is all. Now, I didn't say anything was wrong with it, but I see how it is. Hmm? Why do you have your hand reached out? Shouldn't you practice a bit? Practice? You don't mean hand-holding practice, do you? Exactly that. What are you going to do when the real moment happens and you get nervous? I'll be your practice partner just for you. No, 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 no. There's no need to go through all the trouble of practicing. It's fine. Just take my hand. Whoa! Why is she doing this? She's my childhood friend, but we're holding hands. Dang, I'm nervous. Fuyuka seems used to it since she offered to do it in the first place. Hmm? <sighs> What's wrong, Fuyuka? Your face is completely red. Th that's because, um, it's hot. Hot? But the weather said this was the coldest day this winter. Shut up! Whatever. Let's hurry up and go home. All right. See you. Uh, yeah. See you tomorrow. In the end, time passed and I still understood nothing. Why was Fuyuka trying to help out so much? She's doing things I would have never thought of up till now. She finds out I'm lying, I don't know what I'd do. The further along I go, the more I can't tell her the truth. Fuyuka's offer to help practice for my girlfriend didn't stop at hand-holding after school. On her days off from school, we practice for dates and feeding each other when eating. I asked her one thing. Why are you being so cooperative? Her answer was simple. Because we're childhood friends. In other words, all this was under the pretense of us being childhood friends. But the time I spent with Fuyuka was fun. Even if we were just childhood friends, I was glad that we could make up. Because of that, I didn't want my time with Fuyuka to end. And I still can't tell her the truth. I get it this continues, I'll be a burden to Fuyuka, but... How beautiful! Huh. I got the trees lit up. Christmas is just around the corner. Yep. By the way, what are you doing for Christmas? Uh, um, I don't know. 
Are you spending Christmas with a guy? Hmm. Well, I haven't decided yet. It's tough being asked out by a bunch of guys. I see. I got asked out by one of the third-year senpais, someone younger than me. Ah, and I think a college student, too? Fuyuka sure is popular. Wait, why do I feel disappointed? Ah, uh, but if you and your girlfriend aren't doing anything, I can do you a favor and be with you. Huh? I'll turn down the other boys and spend time with you, as childhood friends. It'd be pitiful if my childhood friend had to spend Christmas alone. Childhood friends, right. If we spend time together, it'll be as childhood friends. Spending Christmas with Fuyuka would definitely be fun, but it would be really selfish of me. No matter how many times we say we are childhood friends, making her be with me on Christmas is unfair, so it's fine. I'll be with my girlfriend for Christmas. Huh? Actually, we made a promise to go on a date, so you don't have to worry about me. I... I see. That's great. Yeah, maybe that day I'll climb up the ladder to adulthood. You know, since it's such a special event. Huh? I see. That's good. Seems like you'll become an adult, no problem. Uyuka, why are you crying? I just remembered I had something to do, so I'm going home. See you. Wait, Fuyuka? She was crying, right? Why in the world? In the end, I never found out why Fuyuka was crying, and I went home by myself. Then, in the next few days, my distance with Fuyuka grew once more. At school, after school, and on days off, I was all by myself. I'm along like I was before. But for some reason, it's really painful. Maybe it's because spending time with Fuyuka became second nature. Christmas. Fuyuka did say she got asked out by a lot of guys. And I'll be here going on a date with someone who doesn't exist. Don't want to imagine it. I want to be the one by her side. Oh, I see. So that's what it is. I realized something from me and Fuyuka drifting apart again. The fact that I was upset at hearing her experience with guys or how I was happy we could talk with each other again, it's because I like her. Ryuka just thinks of me as a childhood friend. If I confess to her, she'll definitely turn me down. But if our relationship ends like how it did in the past, that's worse to me. I'll tell her everything. Everything about up till now, and from now on. So on Christmas morning, I went to Fuyuka's house. Yes, who it? Kota, why are you here? Don't you have a date today? You should get going. That's what I came here to talk about. I'm sorry. Everything up to now has been a lie. Huh? Everything up to when? That I have a girlfriend and have a date today? It was all a lie. I don't have a girlfriend or plans for today. Uh, what do you mean? I told the whole truth to Fuyuka, who was quite perplexed. Why did you tell such a lie? Because you said I knew nothing about that kind of stuff. Huh? I just blurted out that I had experience. I was heated and just wanted to tell a little lie about that, but because of that lie, a bunch of stuff happened. I couldn't be honest with you, but I decided to be honest with you from now on. I don't want to lie to you. Why now? That's because I realized I like you, Fuyuka. Huh? You probably think of me as just a childhood friend, so if you don't want to date me, I get it. But I thought I should tell you how I feel. Plus, I don't want to deceive you by continuing the girlfriend lie. Saying anything and everything I want is no good, but... Huh? W what's wrong? Are you upset at me tricking you? No, that's not it. I feel happy. And kind of mad at you. I just have a mix of emotions going on. Well, what do you mean? I've been lying to you this whole time, too. When Fuyuka finally calmed down, I got the full story. All that stuff about me having a ton of experience or a bunch of Christmas dates was a lie. I've never slept with anyone, and I've only been on a date with one guy. Wait, really? Then why'd you lie like that? For the same reason as you. I like you, Kota. Huh? You like... Me? What? You got any complaints? It's not that. I'm just shocked. I thought you for sure hated me. 
We've been apart all this time! That's because... When I realized I liked you, I suddenly got... Embarrassed. So just like now, I couldn't talk to you. I thought you'd hate me at this rate. So I kept the distance between us. After I was a bit more honest with myself, I was gonna talk to you. But then you went and said you got a girlfriend, so... I couldn't tell you I liked you anymore. I didn't realize at all. And I guess it's good we didn't tell any strange lies. If we did, our lies would have just kept piling up. Plus, it was written in a magazine. A magazine? Women with no experience are a pain, or being mature will get men to fall for you. Stuff like that. So that's why I said all that stuff in front of you. But because of all that, this strange stuff happened. <sighs> if I knew this would happen, I wouldn't have lied in the first place. So after I said I had no experience, you smiling wasn't making fun of me. It was a smile of relief. And the dating practice you helped with wasn't his childhood friends. That was my way to try and steal you away from your... girlfriend. Even though I did all that, you didn't notice at all. Well, that's... You thought we were just doing everything as childhood friends? Well, I definitely thought it was strange, but I didn't think it was because you liked me. Ah, uh, whatever. I got to hear what I wanted to hear. Hey, Kota. Say it again. What do you think about me? Ah, okay. Listen closely. I like you. Will you go out with me? Yeah, I will. Whoa, Fuyuka! Hugging me so suddenly like that! You don't like being hugged by me? It's not that I don't like it, but I'm a bit embarrassed. I see. Well, even if you said you didn't like it, I won't let go. But you're finally being honest. Let me hold you for a bit longer. Ah! It's snowing! Oh, it is. It's beautiful. Hey, Kota. Do you know what day it is? It's December 24th. Why? Ugh, you're terrible at guessing! I'm just taking a roundabout way of asking you out. Let's go on a Christmas date. Oh, that's what you meant. My bad. But yeah, I want to spend my time with you. It's Christmas, and a white one at that. <laughs> that's great. I'll get ready, so wait a bit. Okay. So me and Fuyuka became a couple on Christmas. She sure gave me the runaround, but I didn't mind. Because we got to be together like this.